Today we've got a fun one. It is the new Mizuno ST230 drivers. We're gonna test them. We're gonna tell you everything you need to know. And we've got Taylor Ledwine joining us to do some testing. Golfers, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, give this video a like, and then you tell us in the comments what you think of the new Mizuno ST230 drivers. So the ST230 drivers have three models. Mm -hmm. So in the past, we've noted that the STZ is kind of the, the one that fits the widest golfer is kind of the hem, high MOI model, although it does also produce some pretty low spin in the past anyway, this, this kind of model has. Um, it's uh, it available in uh, nine and a half and 10 and a half degrees of loft, but that mm -hmm. can also be adjusted down almost to seven and a half. So you can really get creative with it. And also it can go up to, you know, 11 and a half. Yep. Um, on the STX now you have uh, all the way up to 12 degrees too in a standard loft. This one's 10 and a half, but this is the one you see that weight here a little bit more in the heel. So it's going to promote a little bit more of a draw, um, a little bit more compact head though. I think we'll see in the testing that yep. you might catch as well. Uh, so the STX is available nine and a half, 10 and a half and 12. And the last one here is a new one. Uh, mm -hmm. You're seeing brands do more of this, um, kind of that lightweight sort of almost premium type club that is designed for moderate swing speeds. I'm sure you talk to a lot of those people over the phone during your fittings, but they need an option that's lightweight and they can easily swing and kind of retain the speed they may be losing or maybe just don't have. Right. And this is the platinum, the STX platinum driver from as you know, and I can feel it in my hand. Yeah. Really light club. Yeah, you can feel, I mean, it's almost like there's nothing kind of in the club yeah. head, which for, you know, a lot of people who we talk to on the phones or, you know, over chat, they're looking for something lightweight to get that ball speed up. Cause like you said, maybe they have, you know, getting a little bit older, have lost some of that speed. Mm -hmm. So um, a driver like this is really nice to have to be able to recommend right. to them. Right, exactly. And I think there's, it's it's growing more and more popular as, as golfers, maybe either, whether it is maybe someone getting older or maybe just someone that doesn't quite have the speed or mm -hmm. maybe is new to the game, whatever it might be, but they can't, it's not quite the right fit for them to go into and get regular flex shaft, for yep. example. Uh, and then this is what actually fits them best. But so for today's purposes, STZ and STX, we can test those. Mm -hmm. um, so knowing what we know about these drivers, um, we got the new Cortec chamber, we've got um, a nine and a half in the STZ, 10 and a half in the STX. Um, what are you expecting based on, you know, again, the past experience with Mizuno drivers or, you know, what we see here today? I mean, anything you're expecting? Um, I'm going in kind of blind with Mizuno yeah. drivers, being honest. Yeah. Um, I don't have a ton of experience with them, um, but I'm interested to see with the forgiveness mm -hmm. um, and a little bit, you know, lower spin, what we get out of that. And then um, with the other one, kind of the more workability and a little mm -hmm. more players club, I right. guess I would say. Yeah, I mean, Mizuno's making that push to uh, get into the, the driver space a little bit more, mm -hmm. kind of like they are with the irons. And so that's, that's what these products are aiming to do for their sake. So I think we're ready to hit some shots here. I'm ready. All right, so starting with the STZ, yep. um, Taylor first, give me, you know, you first shot off the board there. Give me your thoughts on how that club looks first. Um, I mean, we talked a little bit about the crown and, um, you know, what, what that looks like with kind of like the, the dark leading edge, if you will, mm -hmm. and then kind of that, that carbon on the back. But um, anything else jump out at you? Um, you know, not really. Looking down at it, um, you can notice that little bit of a difference there, which mm -hmm. I play a ping with turbulators and you yeah. know, people think those are distracting, but I don't really see those. For me, this is a little bit more distracting because okay. it's kind of two different colors. Two toned, yeah. Yeah, but um, you know, I hit that one a little bit off the heel, um, but okay. still forgiveness. I mean, I'm still hitting yeah. it 230 yards. So yeah, um, but you still got a 1.45 smash factor out of a yeah. heel strike there and nothing crazy happened to the golf ball. So, I mean, good start there, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that was definitely a better strike. Yeah, hit that one a little more off the center. Mm -hmm. The sound in it is a little bit not as like piercing as some drivers, yeah. I would say. Yeah, I think um, so. It's definitely not. I mean, that's something I I think Mizuno's done a good job of, and they're kind of pushed the last few years with their ST kind of series of drivers going back to ST. I think it was 190 or mm -hmm. 180 was maybe the first one, but where they they've kind of tried to make this push in the driver space, especially, and they've done a really good job, I think, with the sound. Yeah, I um, think it's a nice sound coming off the club. Yeah. Like I said, nothing too piercing, which some drivers, we kind of 
Especially right. in here, you can notice that a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Ooh, now that ball speed's going up, getting warmed up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I do notice, I mean, I play a driver set to 12 degrees, so I do notice with this nine and a half, you know, that little bit lower height, but other yep. than that, I'm liking all the numbers mm -hmm. that it's showing us. Yeah, I mean, it's, granted that, yeah, the setup that we're using today might not be perfect for someone like you. That, right. You know, goes to 12, but maybe we'll go loft up with the next model and see if that changes anything, but. But other than that, the rest of the numbers, you know, mm -hmm. What I'd like to see when I'm hitting a driver. And that one looked like it went a little bit higher. On yeah, the, I caught yep. that one a little bit better off the face. So. Okay, yeah. Interesting there. So I wanted, let's, let's go to the numbers here and we can yeah. talk over dispersion as well. So you're, you're drawing the ball a little bit here. Um, and then as we go to the just the numbers here mm -hmm. 146 on the smash and that's good considering i think you mentioned on a couple of them you didn't quite catch it solid right um let's see if see if trackman picked up any of those yeah there's that heel shot um there's another heel shot see look at that i mean the spin you can see the ones that went up right yeah um they went up by about 400 to 300 rpm mm -hmm. give or take by going into the heel which i think is pretty darn good considering I think with other drivers or other models or drivers in general, you see that number go way up and the ball kind of go wayward Yeah. when you go off the heel. But I don't think that really happened much with this model. No, I mean, obviously that carry distance is going to be down. Um, the total is kind of hard to look at because yeah. the conditions, you know, but um, hard to find a driver where you're going to go up and spin that much. And, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not losing a, ton it's still going straight so it's a great thing that Mizuno's done with this driver here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah I think that's I mean that's something to note because I think there are you know there are players out there that that um they're, they're, I think people get lost sometimes with ball speed right they're trying to chase as much ball speed as possible and you know and it, we'll see where Mizuno stacks up when we compare against brands but I think the way that their ball speed retention was when you hit those ones off the heel right yeah you're still in competitively with the rest of those shots up there. You're not losing a ton of speed. Nothing is drastically changing. Um, you may have lost a few yards of your carry there, which is normal. Right. Um, it's not outrageous like we see a lot of times with heel shots. So that to me is encouraging. And that's what I saw from the STZ model. Anyway. Yeah, I think it's, you know, if you're looking to upgrade to something new, um, mm -hmm. I mean, even for me, I, I don't hit the ball great every single time. So mm -hmm. even with those little bit of miss hits, I think this would be a good option. Yeah. Absolutely. And so what we can do now, we have the X model. And so what we're going to do, we're going to hit this one. We're going to adjust it up, kind of give a little bit better fit for you okay. in terms of the, the loft and, um, you know, seeing if we can't get that height a little bit higher as well. Um, so we'll hit, we'll hit the STX here and then we'll kind of do maybe a quick side by side comparison of the two for sure. with the numbers before we go into final thoughts. Sounds good. All right. So Taylor, that is the STX 230 adjusted up. So it's at 11 and a half degrees aloft. Mm -hmm. um, also worth noting is the shaft is different. So we're now trying the, the Kylie 50S blue. Um, it actually, it, it, one thing to note too is Mizuno is a little bit unique in that the shafts that they get, you know, have stock for their drivers are the standard manufacturer shafts. Mm -hmm. They're not, you know, shafts that are designed for the specific driver. This is exactly how that shaft is built. Yep. So, that's worth noting, and I think it's unique, and we should mention that from Mizuno. But that's going to feel a little different. I bet it feels a little bit lighter. Yeah, it does. It also I... probably looks a little bit different. Yeah, the head is a little is smaller. Yeah. Um, it does feel lighter. Most of that is going to be in the shaft just because, yeah. you know, it is a lighter shaft. Um, and since we have it up to that 11 and a half, I think yep. you said, it does feel a little bit more closed than the other yeah. one. And that's what you're going to get with most drivers that you right. adjust. So, yeah, that face angle does get closed a little bit when we move it up. Um, but then also, you mentioned the club head shape. Mm -hmm. So that's where you, Mizuno's a little unique with the X in their series over the past few years, as it's been a draw bias, but also been kind of a more compact player's look, which is a different kind of twist for drivers. When generally you think of a draw bias driver, you think of the more forgiving, maybe a larger footprint. Yep. Mizuno goes a different way with it. And clearly they've seen some success that they're, you know, they're continuing it here with the ST 230. Yeah. Um, 
you know, I like how this one's a little bit more compact. Uh, so I'm excited to see the right. numbers with this one. Let's see it. Can definitely see just in this first one here that more draw on this one than the other one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whether right that's away. the little bit closed or just the draw bias in mm -hmm. general. I think that will be a really good shot. Yep. Yeah. Right there. So we see the draw that mm -hmm. comes into play. And then we got you a loft that's a little bit more, you know, uh, what you're used to. Right. And then we see that ball go 254 yards. Yeah. With that little, I mean, the shaft is 15 grams lighter. So, I mean, it's not a yeah. huge amount, but that's also, I think, the highest ball speed that we've seen. Mm -hmm. I don't think you've, yeah, I think it might be the first time over 140 or yeah. really close. So. That one's going to go left, too. Yeah. So you got one. So it, it, I think you're clearly able to turn. It's turning. Um, yeah, this one is a little bit. A little bit for you, which is a good thing for players that slice it. Yeah, this one is, I mean, with the setup that we have and just the head right. itself, easier to turn over. So mm -hmm. like you said, if you're missing to the right, um, is a nice feature for you. Oh, yeah. So here's a question. Did yeah. you notice a difference in sound and feel or looks? Well, we talked about looks. Sound and feel compared to the STZ. Or is, do you think it's pretty similar? I mean, it's, it's, I mean, they use the same, you know, unique beta titanium and the whole deal on the face. But is there a difference because of the, the shape or no? Um, you know, I don't really notice one. Okay. Um, I mean, I don't really notice anything strong here. I just didn't know if you caught something. Um, yeah, but I, yeah, I mean, it's they're again, they're built with the same materials and the, the construction is very similar just besides that tweak in the shape. So didn't anticipate anything, but you never know. I do like, I mean, we talked about the head on it, how yeah. um, I don't personally like this difference, but I know there's a lot of drivers like that that doesn't bother people. Right. But I do like the look of this one just being that little bit more compact yeah. head. The shape. So. You definitely like the shape. of Yeah. It. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, Let's quickly here, we'll break down these numbers, right? So, I kind because I kind of want to talk about the importance of getting your driver tuned in because drivers today have adjustability. This one we showcase the adjustability, the hosel going up to, I think it can go up or down two degrees, mm -hmm. each model can. So, um, we moved the STX 230 up to 11 and a half. You currently play a 12 degree driver. So, you know, trying to get it to be a close fit there. Um, and we see, numbers wise that helped you a lot yeah um so again the importance mizuno has the, the adjustable hosel your fitters are going to know what's best for your game you know what's best for your game mm -hmm. um you gained some yards there gained some total um the whole deal right and <clears throat> then we'll look at dispersion here and i mean with see... adjusting that too sorry didn't no go to... ahead no go um ahead. but with that carry if you're not hitting one that's like perfect you know yeah that's what's nice about getting that little bit more height. You know, it's not just gonna right. dive right out of the air. It's got a little bit more height to get it to carry just a little bit further. Yeah, right. And I think, yeah, I mean, I think that's, there's still, I, I, I know the push for fitting is getting better and better. Mm -hmm. um, or even not necessarily an in-person fitting, but something that, you know, you're doing every single day is talking to people over the phone yep. and fitting them for a driver. And even through a conversation, you're gonna be able to know if someone came in like with a similar profile as you uh, talked on the phone, you're going to know, hey, the standard setup for you is not going to work. And so that's where you can make those adjustments and you're going to see that carry go up. You're going to see, you know, the the height is one that was big as well. Yeah. Where your height went 10 feet higher on average. Right. So you're able to get that extra carry. Um, so just something to note there with Mizuno in particular. But um, and then we go on to the dispersion. You can see the certainly the the draw bias there with the STX is yeah. in effect. Um, I did I mean you're pretty consistent there with the STZ as well. But right, the STX is a little bit more wide range. You do notice. I think it, there should is there one like way down here in the bunker there? Mm -mm. No, there's oh, not. it's right there. Yeah. Right here. So I mean you do notice though this one is a little bit more player yeah. driven. So. Um, one that I didn't hit quite as well, seeing a significant kind yeah. of difference. Um, whereas the one that's supposed to be more forgivable is kind of in that little circle. You know? Right. That's a good point. I didn't even think of that. We can move this to total here and you can kind of see it as well. Yeah. But 
So it's funny because your best two drives of the day were with this driver, mm -hmm. the STX optimized at 11 and a half, but when you did miss it, not quite as forgiving as the STZ. And so you can see the ones over here and here. Yeah, I mean, I think those ones, punished. sorry, those ones that you hit up towards the top, this one carries 191. Mm -hmm. If you click one of those top two, I mean, that's 20 or 30, almost th yeah. 30 yards. What? Um, whereas the other ones, more compact circles. So, I mean, if, if mm -hmm. I'm coming in for fitting and I'm looking at these two circles, I'm definitely right. wanting that more compact circle. Right. So, right. So I think here's a question for you. Let's say you're, you have a, a customer with your profile mm -hmm. and you know, they're, they're telling you, well, I, you know, I have this kind of a, I have a low ball fright right now. I'm playing a 12 degree driver. Would you give yourself the STZ? driver of these two and maybe yep. use the adjustments from there to kind of fine tune it looking at these yeah if like someone came in like you said with mine i would i would adjust the stz to yeah. the 11 and a half okay and then because i mean if it's adjusted it's going to carry those miss hits will carry a little bit more right. but i mean that compact circle if i'm out playing in a tournament that's what i'm going to be looking for right um hitting the fairways, you know, and being able to play from there, mm -hmm. uh, rather than having those huge kind of right, gaps the in between. Yeah. Yeah. You're not looking for that, but, um, okay. So the Mizuno ST 230 drivers did some brief testing here. Mm -hmm. Um, I think pretty good feedback on initial testing here. Uh, we saw kind of a, pretty much what we expected. We saw the forgiveness and consistency STZ 230. We also saw the draw bias plus perhaps more workability yeah. with the STX 230. All right, Taylor, testing complete. Mm -hmm. um, pretty good stuff here from Mizuno with the ST230 drivers, and I'm really excited to see how they fare, kind of brand versus brand comparisons that we'll do more in the future of. But mm -hmm. um, for now, let's talk who they're for. So the standard STZ, the 230, and uh, talk to me about the players that you know, you'll know you probably fit for that driver over the phone. Honestly, most or wide yeah. variety of yeah. players. Um, players who are looking for, you know, forgivability and stuff mm -hmm. like that in a driver. Um, so pretty much your typical person yeah. that's playing golf and it's just looking to upgrade to a new driver. Right. Anybody that, you know, weekend warrior, mm -hmm. um, anybody to up, you know, maybe a scratch player that yeah. doesn't have a one way miss or, you know, they're not trying to fix one thing. They're just kind of needing some better performance. Right. Um, and that's where then the STX comes in. And so this is where you get a little bit more specific with the player mm -hmm. that might benefit from that driver the most. Yeah, so someone who's looking to maybe rein the ball in from going to the right. Yeah. Um, so it's a little more draw bias. Someone who's just wanting to hit more of a draw. Mm -hmm. um, or someone who just wants some more workability. Um, yeah. It's definitely going to be a driver head that's um, easier to work than the Z. Yeah. Or someone who would like a more compact head. Right. Because you can tell the difference between the X and the Z. Yeah, there's definitely a, just a little more compact shape, mm -hmm. a little more pear shape, and I think the maybe the more better the better player, the discerning player, kind of prefers that look a little bit. Yep. A little more confidence for them. So, and then lastly, the platinum we talked about at the beginning did not test it mm -hmm. just because it is lightweight and doesn't really isn't a fit for you. Yeah. Um, but the platinum STX I think is worth discussing, and and I think. It can fit a lot of players still. Like I think mm -hmm. the STZ might fit the widest range of where the golfer dem demographic is right now, but there's a ton of different characteristics and different um, personalities that the Platinum can fit into. Yeah, so I think if you're just kind of getting into the game, um, you know, struggling with the ball speed, mm -hmm. uh, juniors, honestly, yeah. who are, you know, not quite into the regular flex, right. but they're looking to not get a junior driver, um, ladies, be a good option for mm -hmm. um, and you know seniors who are looking to get that more ball speed with a lighter shaft and head to build that ball speed. Yeah, I remember when I was you know a young kid and I was kind of making the I was I was a teenager. And you're making that transition. You're mm -hmm. getting some speed, but you're you're not quite playing junior clubs. You're right. You're you're get too much speed or too much game for that. But yeah. you can't quite play a men's club. That's where you kind of think something like this would be a great option. Mm -hmm. You still get that 460 uh, cc head. You still hit the bombs with it. So yeah. um, that's, I think, the summary on the ST230 drivers from Mizuno. Mm -hmm. Really good testing, Taylor, I think, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, for 
not hitting Mizuno drivers before. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy with the performance that you're getting out of them. And I think Mizuno did really well with the 230 line. Yeah, I think it's going to be a great one in the fitting bays and in the phone conversations with our online master fitters. So golfers, make sure you schedule that fitting, whether it is over the phone with someone like Taylor or in our store for a Mizuno ST230 driver. We'll get you dialed in, hitting longer and straighter tee shots. So Taylor, thanks for joining, giving your feedback, mm -hmm. hitting the shots. Um, again, really excited about these ones in 2023. Yeah, I'm excited to see, you know, kind of how they perform.